Welcome to Interview, and we continue for our series on the Chefs in Schools program and the San Lucia Hotel and Tourism Association really continuing with this great initiative to really get to the nursery of the talent and the culinary development of our chefs from an early age. We have with us now two students from the Sufre Comprehensive School who are part of the program. And we have with us Kayla Joseph and also Shekwin Frankie. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Kayla, first of all, you, what got you interested and what was the process that your, your school undertook to select you to be part of this program? Well, um, the chefs in school came to our school and there's, there was different chefs and we had to work with them. They put us in groups and they just observed how we worked and then our teacher was there. So they would give feedback to our teacher and then our teacher picked us. Okay, wonderful. So you had a great experience with a number of chefs in the school before you came through. Okay, Shekwan, Frankie, tell us about your own experience. How was it like? Were you excited to be part of that program? Yes, I was very excited. <coughs> and I was very interested in cooking before the chefs came to, um, to the school because I have a very big passion of cooking and yeah. Okay, Kayla, your, your own background, you had that sort of passion as well. Was it something that you had from a, a very, very, very young mm -hmm. lady? Yes, I grew up learning how to cook with my parents, and I always wanted to be a chef watching Food Network and stuff like that. So, so that means they're really supporting you in, in, in this endeavor? <laughs> very much so. Well, tell us about uh, food and nutrition at the Souffre Comprehensive. Uh, is it something that a lot of students gravitate towards? Is it a subject that you find more and more students are interested in? Well, not really, but people who like to f like cook, they like choose food and nutrition for their subject. So how does it compare to other, other s um, subjects that you take on at school? Um, do, uh, do you think that people take it as seriously as with maybe math math mathematics and English? Not really. But you are, your, your case is different. Yeah, very okay, different. Okay, because it's What about you? Yeah, I think it's different because to me it's much more fun than seeing the class doing math. You understand? So, like, it's better to come, you learn about food, something you eat every day, and stuff like that. So. Okay, Shaquin, first you of all, now that you've been the one selected, how it, has it been like working with the chef that's been assigned to you? It is very, be it's very interesting. Um, I learned a lot of new stuff I didn't know about. I learned how to do different professional stuff. I know a lot of things about the chefs and the staff and everything. Michaela, what about you? It's, it's fun working with our chef. He's a very fun person and you can learn a lot from him. And yeah, the experience has just has been good with him. He understands us, he, he teaches us, and yeah. Uh, some, a question we've asked other students participating in this uh, Chefs in School program. What is it like being in the hotel and being in the setting among other chefs and prepa actually preparing meals? It's a fun experience, but it's a learning process also because you see the chefs preparing food for guests and they're under pressure and they're working fast and everything. So we, you can learn from that and yeah. Shekwan, the, the kitchen experience? It's very interesting. And uh, the way the chefs work, they work very fast. They know what they're doing. They're very organized. And the way they cook is very, very beautiful to see. Wonderful. And the, the experience actually being in the hotel and mm -hmm. seeing how the chefs operate, has that raised your interest level a couple notches uh, higher now that you've actually seen the experience within the kitchen? Yes. The, it's to see it and not just like thinking about it. It's a very um, thing to, something to think about because you see it now, you see how the chef life is, so the in your interest um, goes, yeah. So much different between 
cooking at school if it's just for the cook off and actually being in the hotel yeah so how, how has that impacted on you in terms of the, 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 the great difference and maybe just being at school and having a loving for, for FNN and preparing for a commission, actually being in a hotel setting? Was it like a culture shock? Yeah. In school, like, I didn't really want, I didn't really like cooking in the school. But when I got to know I'll be going up to other competition, uh, my interest grew more. And... I just like cooking nowadays, like, I want to be in the kitchen every day. Okay, we'll have more questions on the kitchen. We'll take our break on our program interview. We'll be back in just a moment. La main pop c'est chez main bon santé. Il y a absolument nécessaire pour laver la main si vous voulez chien bon santé. Quand même si vous n'avez pas de glos, si vous avez fait ces bagages là. Écoutez, laver la main souvent et puis glos net avec savon après condition qui a 6 mètres 20 minutes. Par exemple, on ne peut laver la main après vous changer d'ailleurs pas. C'est vite près vite. Vous tuez des gens qui blessés et bien malades. Après vous tuez des animaux et après vous entamez des ordines. Et si vous paniquez l'eau, vous savez que ça y est qu'à couiller hand sanitizer et bien alcool pour 30 secondes. Lavez la main souvent. Ça c'est une manière pour empêcher maladie. Si vous voulez plus d'informations, prenez le bureau d'information santé à numéro 468-5349. More on the Chefs in Schools program as we continue on interview. And we have two students from the Soufre Comprehensive with us. They're part of the program, Kayla Joseph and uh, Jaquan Frankie. It is, you're now moving into the competition to, you know, pitch your skills against other schools who are involved in the program, but also you're going into the wider area of the, the Caribbean Challenge. First of all, tell us about, you know, your own anticipation and expectation when you meet up with the actual day of competition, we know that you have to um, produce something out of a, a mystery basket, and you also have your, your, your specialty, your signature event, which you're gonna actually prepare. Tell us about the, the mindset, the focus, how you plan to go about executing on the various days of those challenges. We also have a two-round competition. The signature dish, I think we're ready for it and we've been practicing and we we know what to do and so I think that we will do good in our signature dish. The, also the mystery box, we've been um, practicing different things, different techniques, different ideas and I think we're ready for them, whatever they throw at us. Shaquan? The signature dish, we are ready. We already prepared like we are ready and for the mystery box we are just ready for whatever they throw in our face whatever they give us mm -hmm. because we are practice and practice and practice and practice and yeah <laughs> okay so so the signature dish uh, actually gives you something that you can actually focus on and perfect but the mystery is something that has some nuances about it mm -hmm. so what what the challenge is like in terms of the mystery box is it how do you prepare yourself mentally in terms of do you anticipate what is going to be in it and you work towards it or do you just keep an open mind and perfect the art of preparing anything that's shown before you how do you go about it well the mystery box you practice with different foods and you have an idea okay if they give us that we're going to do that and that's how we go about doing our mystery box and i think that will be that the way we go about it will prepare us for the mystery box. Okay, and I, a perfect opportunity to speak about your chef and give him some of, 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 of the identity behind the interview. Who's your chef and how has the interaction been, been going and what sort of drills do they put you through on a daily basis or, or whenever, um, whatever schedule that you have when you do your training with him? Um, our chef is Ruben Kumar at and Chastney and he's a very good chef <laughs> I would say he trains us well and he 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 loves to um, teach and share a lot with us and share life lessons not only in the kitchen and um, working with him is is hard but <laughs> it's very fun also um, my, like she said my chef is Ruben Goma He's a very fun guy to work with. Like every time he'd be like, 
what you want to learn you want to learn pasta or you want to learn this or you want to learn that you'll be like yeah we want to try it like yes and he is a very fun person to work with and a very fun chef okay so you get an opportunity to, to be at the hotel you get an opportunity to go to Anshasni. what do your other school uh, members tell you are they do they quiz you and how is the you know the opportunity like how are you enjoying it uh, are they all interested as well especially those who might have um, been around looking for the opportunity that the two of you have been given i think they they tell us oh you have work today oh you have training today i'm like yeah we have training and then they they support us they really support us and they make sure we up to date with our um our subjects and stuff and they ask us oh bring something back for us whatever mm -hmm. ever oh you have to cook that for us so they're very supportive about yeah. it okay. so how often do you go to the hotel and for how long is the duration is, is it for an entire day well not entire day sometimes we work from 12 to 10 3 to 10 on on a lot of days four days a week Okay, now I want to look at the, the regional competition and I'm sure you're having aspirations to emerge mm -hmm. the, the couple who will actually go on to represent St. Lucia at the, the regional competition. Have you uh, already um, gotten yourself you know, in the right frame of mind to take on a wider challenge? Of course, we, we focus on not only St. Lucia, we focus on Barbados also. So we train for St. Lucia and Barbados. So I think that um, we training and working with our chef would, would really prepare us for Barbados. Shekwan? Well, we're not training for a competition. We train for Barbados because we are not training for the competition only because it's very easy stuff. We <laughs> are training for hard stuff and Barbados so we know like we get the pressure, we know what to do, and we organize our stuff and so, yeah. Okay, so you've so already set some very high standards, <laughs> you would see, but I'm sure you know that there, there are certain hurdles <laughs> yeah. that, or steps that you need, need to go, but still a, a very good strategy in terms of getting to the ultimate goal of going on to represent St. Lucia at the regional competition. Do you, have you had any experiences from students at the school of going through what you've you're going through now, the students who have had the experience of being involved in the SLHDA cooking in schools program? Well, there's two girls. Last year, they won in St. Lucia and in Barbados. So I think the standard is high for us to reach there also because they're champions, not only in St. Lucia, but regionally. So they help us. I contact one of them and they give us um, ideas and they tell us, okay, don't do that, do that, and yeah. Okay, so you have um, some really lofty standards to, to really maintain. Mm -hmm. So Shikwan, we're gonna wrap up in a while, but tell us um, overall your feelings, your expectations, and uh, maybe generally what's your own aspiration after the, the national event, if you do go on to Barbados and, and the future, how are you serious in that you want to make it a profession? Well, when we go to Barbados, um, of course, we'll win, so. <laughs> um, I want my career to be more of cooking because I really love cooking from young. And I want to like make it a very big deal for me because I really love cooking and I love food. Kila, yeah. your closing remarks? Um, I really like to be a chef and ever since I was young, I was always wanted to be a chef. So this will give me a good exposure into going to that career. Well, we've just come to the end of our program interview. We had the first two students participating in the Chefs in Schools program. And they're from the Soufre Comprehensive in Kayla Joseph and also Shekwan Frankie. Ladies, thank you very much for being part of our program. And we wish you all the best in the upcoming cook-off fair in St. Lucia. And as you said, you're going to be the <laughs> ones who are going to qualify for the big regional competition in Barbados. Yeah. And we look forward to seeing you at that level and to the best of both of you who have both said that you would like to be chefs when you do leave school. Thanks once again for being part of our program. You're welcome. This has been an interview. We'll be back again for another program. Oh.
Marketing, you know, 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 you know